So welcome to a new series. We're gonna do Star Wars for Disgruntled. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be epic. Let's fix the music first. Yeah, we're gonna leave some music on there. But anyhow, um, so as you see here, I got some characters already. Uh, Navkiss, Warhound, No Nuts Glory, Beirut Papa, and Draconian. All in varying levels. 75, 52, 70, 60. Now, for this game, there's been a recent update. Uh, a new expansion. Uh, Legacy of the Sith. And from my understanding, they increased the level cap to level 80. But we're not going to crank up any of these characters. We're actually going to start a new character. Because you can see on the left, top left side there, there's at least two story arcs I haven't quite finished. Now, you can see I finished a lot of them, but you only see five characters. That's because I play on a couple different servers. Um, this one here was is a PvE server that had a few friends that started playing again that got in touch with me and asked me to come join them so I did and I, I funded a lot of what they were doing plus bought the guild ship uh, opened up the guild bank started putting a lot of credits into it um, the money's all still there the ship's still there no one plays anymore um, it's because this game kind of just dries out really fast but we're going to start a new character and as much as I really wanted to do Sith because I really enjoy the Sith story arc um, we need at least to finish some stuff up so we got the option between a smuggler and a Jedi um, at least a lightsaber wielding Jedi anyways um, so we're gonna do that we're gonna start a new character and we're gonna test out the new mechanics of this game um, over time, there's been a lot of cool stuff with this game that has been either reworked, re-envisioned, or just taken out of the game completely. And what I mean by that is that there's been some things that were removed from the game a long time ago that I actually kind of liked um, because it gave more customization uh, for you. Uh, not just for your character, but for your companion. And I know there's going to be some people who've played this game before that knows what I'm talking about. And that was you were able to deck out your companions with gear. Now, you can still do that. You can change their appearance. You just can't put gear on them. You can't put loaded out gear on them. So any item modifications and stuff like that, it's just it's a no-go for your companions. You can still make them look different, but for the most part, you can't really customize the way your companion looks to the way you want them to look. Instead, now there's preset looks that you got to go for, um, and I really don't care for that. So I haven't tried to change the look of any of my companions since then. Um, and it sucks. Uh, granted, it, it's it's a lot better in the sense if you're a new player, you're first starting off, you have no other characters to speak of, it's your first character that you're ever making. It can get really expensive trying to set set your own character up and then having to set up your companion. Um, effectively, what they did was they changed the, they changed things up a bit. Now you were able to build up a rapport or camaraderie, uh, camaraderie or whatever. Um, with your companion you are able to develop a relationship with your companion and a positive relationship would allow um, for certain unlocks uh, which ones exactly I couldn't tell you um, I'm not sure because I didn't really focus on upping my relations with any of my companions um, so for a lot of my older characters the highest companion level that I have maybe might be a seven or a nine so not very high at all when the max is 50. Um, on this server here, I believe Nabkiss and Warhound uh, and even Beirut have at least one if not two maxed out companions. And that's because you can buy tokens to max them out rather than trying to work them up. I've tried to work some of them up, especially after they made the change because the change was instead of putting better gear on your companion to make them better, you can increase your relationship with them to make them better. That's a good trade-off, I guess. Um, but at the same time, it's kind of rough to play the game you want to play while trying to accommodate or appease your companion. And there's many ways to do so. 
But one way that can really hurt your relationship with your companion is if you're too brutal of a character or too nice of a character and your companion doesn't like it. Either doesn't like how brutal you are or doesn't like how nice you are. Or they only like certain responses, whether being good or bad. They like the, the witty or the asshole-ish mark or remark or whatever. And you get relationship bonuses from that. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's slow progress. Really slow progress. So now it's not as expensive. Now it's just more time-consuming, which can be more expensive for you out of your pocket if you're a subscriber. As you can see, I am on preferred status. I am no longer a subscriber. Um, reason being is because the game is free-to-play. Um, and there was a lot of aspects to the game that you can play for free. Uh, and what we're going to be focusing on doesn't require us to pay. Uh, we're just going to do the story arc. Um, mainly, we're just going to drive to level 50, effectively. Um, my objective is to at least make level 55 by the end of the main story arc. Um, but the main story arc, I think that planet... Um, I don't even remember the name of the planet, so I apologize. It's been a while since I played this game, so I'm back to being a noob at this game. There's a lot of changes that have happened in this game that I, I couldn't even tell you about, really. Um, either that or I just don't know about them yet because I haven't really been playing all that much So we're just gonna go ahead and get to it since I've already tied you guys up and you probably don't want to listen to me Just bullshit about the game. We're gonna go ahead and create a new character and we're gonna create a Jedi I kind of want to do a, a smuggler, but at the same time I really don't want to because on another server. I have two I think one's at level 47 the other one's like level 30 something um, And we're gonna we're not gonna go straight into Onslaught and Legacy of the Sith. Instead, we're going to start from the very beginning. The beginning of time. And anybody who's played this knows that this is a long game. So, I'm not going to make any guarantees. The series, I had envisioned to make a complete series. To finish it from front to end with some in-game content. But I'm not making any promises on that. Because, like I said, this game can get dry really quickly. And... Obviously, you don't want to just see me play the game. You're going to want to hear some commentary. You're going to want to hear some things about it. You want to hear something. You don't want to just listen to the gameplay and the sound effects and blah, blah, blah. So, whatever. Anyhow, we're just going to go ahead and push on because I'm rambling again. So, let's go ahead and create character. We want to be on the light side of the force. Ugh. The light side. Jedi Knight, but we're not going to be a, tr a sorcerer. No. Um, and not Guardian, because Guardian is a counselor's class. So... That's right, isn't it? Or no, Guardian, that's like a... It's like a juggernaut. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Anyhow, yeah. Um, yeah, we're not going to do Jug. We're going to be a sign. Doing all damage because we can get through a lot of the missions really quickly if we're all damaged, but we can still have really powerful guardian because he can also do damage, damage over time or direct damage. Um, Sentinel damage over time, direct damage, and hybrid damage. I don't really care for the hybrid damage, so you know what? I do. And I'm not going to lie on this one to you. I do have a Sentinel um, on another server. <laughs> um, and I want to say I thought I finished the storyline with him, but apparently I didn't. And his name was closest to the one that I had over here, Warhound. Yeah, Warhound's got a brother. War Ghoul. War Ghoul's a Jedi. Um, but we're not going to worry about that. And I don't want that race either. Was that Mira Luke or something like that? I don't know. We're skipping that. Oh, look at this. Scam call. Hold on one second. Alright, hopefully I can edit that out. But anyways, I get a lot of scam calls. Sorry about that. Anyhow, uh, so yeah. We're going to do Guardian Jedi Knight. Click next. We don't want this guy. Even though we have him unlocked. Oh, looks like almost all of these are unlocked. Except for these guys down here. I don't want to do him. It would be pretty interesting. Taking... What is it? Man, what are they called? Oh, they are Sith. A Sith species to be Jedi. That would be pretty entertaining, wouldn't it? 
cyborg. I already have a cyborg Jedi. Do human or Sith. That would be pretty entertaining. Considering we already know where the story goes. So you know what? We're just going to do that. And let's pick a body type here. Um, okay, I guess I can't look at the full body. Um, there's skinny. There's medium. There's yoked out. And then there's fat. Uh, a yoked out guardian seems to be about it but we're not going to do that we're just going to stick right there um head type mm. well we got some interesting choices we can make them look like i don't know some weird looking dragon lizard dog thing um or we can make it look like he's got a beard Weird looking beard with cornrows. Uh, oh, fingers on the face. I don't want him to look like he's got melted skin either. I gotta go with something unique. Maybe we'll do that face. Alright, scars. I'd rather not have any scars if we could just keep the scars off. Yeah, well, maybe well, I guess, I guess the scars would be good for a side story, I guess. You know, the reason why he's no longer Sith. Why he went Jedi. Oh, has he got the clown scar? Hold on. Yep. Why so serious? Yeah, we're going to get off of that. Anyhow. Um... We don't want... I don't want any scars. But does that look like he's got a scar on his forehead? Nope. Okay. No scars. Complexion. We kind of want it clean yet dark. Yeah. Something like that. Because for the most part, I imagine we're probably going to find a mask. And that's going to be pretty well hidden. How about that? That looks more masculine. I think the other one looked a little bit more feminine. So, let's see. Do, do, do. Red eyes or yellow eyes? Oh, he has Sith. We'll just keep him red. Jewelry? Ew. Ew. No. No. And no. No jewelry. Hair. We don't want cornrows. We don't really want regular hair either. Bald would be fine. A bald guardian. Let's see what kind of hair we got here. No, no, no. Now we're kind of going with the Japanese look here. No. <laughs> no, no. Eh, we're looking a little bit more better. Kind of professional, but uh, we don't want that look either. I think I already used that hair on another character, so we're not going to do that one either. Um... And we're just going to go, we're going to support the bald look. There we go. We're bald. Um, I think this also changes my eyebrow color. Does it? I don't have eyebrows. Alright, fuck it. Skin color. Well, we don't want him to be a lobster. Kind of looks like a corpse there. Uh, orange. Yellow. I guess corpse looks the best look. Man, I don't know. Still would be funny though. Let's see. Random name. I can't even pronounce half those names. Geogat. Greganth. Um, Jerdanry. Uh, Pahini. A you know, I think we're getting a little Russian. Uh, it's kind of a bad time period for that one. Um, Jugoth? As in like a, a rejected juggernaut? <laughs> Jugoth. Uh, Obish Obabla. Wimbenth. 
Um, Odors. Odor. Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Tish. These are some pretty interesting names. I'm pretty sure we're just making up some Irish names, really. Or not even Irish. Uh, Ireland. Not, God damn it. That's Ir Ireland and Irish at the same place. <laughs> I was thinking uh, Greenland. Iceland. There we go. Icelandic names. Icelandic. 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 Man, I am fucking up. Oh, well. Anyhow, um, let's see. What name shall we pick? What name would be a good name? Jason. Nah, that is too simple. Um, what are some good Sith names? Something dark, but not so dark. Can't really think of any, to be honest. Um, a good name for a guardian. That is a good question. Good name for guardian? Eh, we'll just call him Babyface. I'm pretty sure this name's already taken, but let's see. Babyface. Is it Babyface? Can we have it? Play. Invalid name. Okay. Let's see. Um. Fingers. He's got f fingers for face. Uh, please choose another name unavailable. Um, Trump. Because we all know everybody loves that name. I just wanted to see what it would say. Unavailable. Um... I don't know. I guess we'll just pick a random name. You know, I'm just going to click this like a million times and then just stop randomly. So we'll just start clicking. I won't even look. And we'll count to 10 and we'll stop. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Would we fall on? Oh my god. I. Exemplary. Xemory B. We're just going to call him B. Or X. XM. There we go. He's just XM. XM, play. Alrighty. Here we go. The nonsense is about to begin. keep changes. I don't know if it actually adjusts my graphic settings or not. Look at that. Welcome to Tython, Padawan. Everyone at the temple is looking forward to meeting you. I'm sure they are. Our former masters praise your combat skills. They say you're becoming an expert duelist. <laughs> I had good teachers. Who are you? I defeated all of them! Not anyone I couldn't beat, including my masters. Impressive claim. If you're seeking fresh challenges, you'll find them. Always seeking fresh challenges, man. The Jedi Council will assign you a new master to oversee your final trials. You'll be tested in ways you can't imagine. But when you leave Tython, you'll know what it means to be a Jedi Knight. More importantly... Really? You'll know yourself. To be honest, I have had forgotten all about Tython. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's get started. I already know all of that. Sounds dull. Yeah, let's get I'm started. I'm eager to face these trials. Where do I start? There's a speeder here that will take you to... Hang on. Getting an emergency signal. Flesh Raiders, armed with blasters? He must be mistaken. Regardless, it's trouble. I'm mistaken or not, that Padawan is under attack. 
They've never come this close before. Flesh Raiders are a species of hostile natives. They're smart enough to use tools and violent beyond reason. I'm sending every able-bodied Jedi down to the Padawan training grounds right away. Especially you. Especially me? What is that? me any better than the others? You've been trained for dangers like this. I know I can count on you. Take the speeder outside to the training grounds, push back the Flesh Raiders, and find out if they're really using advanced weapons. Go! I'll catch up with you after I alert the Jedi Council. May the Force be with you. <laughs> I don't even have a lightsaber. I just got the stick. Look at those guys. Anyhow, um, so we gotta go... Oh shit, I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> so, we gotta take a speeder. Okay. Yep. Speeder's not over here. Uh, so I play mouse and keyboard. I don't use a controller. Um, I find it easier this way. But I do play differently than most people that play this game. A lot of people play this game solely with keyboard. Oh. I can do that too. But, um... Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel Yes. Yeah, um... I click. I, I don't use the keyboard. I don't rely on it heavily like most people do, which... Is dumb, I know, because it's a lot easier to just use muscle memory and push a key to access an ability versus trying to look for the ability and then click it. But yeah, whatever. He was right behind me, wasn't he? And he's gone. Oh. He just glitched out in front of me. Whatever. Alright, let's jump and get these guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I didn't lock it. I'm an idiot. Okay. Beat him up. Yeah, I screwed that one up, didn't I? Um, let's get somewhere safe. Uh, abilities. So, we don't need two of those. Slash, that's active. So that's something we can use, right? That's... An attack. And then there's strike. And the rest are all passive. Yeah. Okay. So, lock that. And let's try it again. Alright. So, effectively, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to level up. And we're trying to get through the mission... Um, which is basically just kill a bunch of these dudes. And... Turn it in for experience. And of course we get loot and money and all that stuff. And which you want to try to save everything that you can. If you can pick up the loot, grab it. Even if it's useless. Yeah, see? We have money. You're unharmed. Good. Flesh Raider shot me in the leg while I was rescuing some Padawans. Don't know where these things got blasters, but I know how to use them. I've been evacuated to a med center, but the fighting isn't over. He's at a med center and he's standing holding his blaster wound. I'm assuming he must be in the lobby, just waiting to be seen by a doctor. Uh, I'll stand I'll my ground. i the enemy, whatever it takes. That's, we need to stop them that's at the different. Source. Standing your ground is Padawan defending. Found a cave tunnel, the flesh Pushing them back, that's offending. Valley. I need you at that tunnel, making sure the Flesh Raiders don't get any more reinforcements through it. Okay, consider I'll it closed. I'll find this cave tunnel and seal it. We need to end this conflict before anyone else gets hurt. Find the tunnel along the mountain range. May the Force be with you. <laughs> He's right next to me. Die! Look, got rare loot. Boom, pick it up. We'll go ahead and get that guy. And we'll get these guys while we're at it. Because before we leave here, we want to make sure we are at least level 10. But being that I'm not a subscriber, it's probably likely I'll be level 8 by the time I'm done with the story here. And we'll have to do the secondary objectives. 
but it doesn't hurt the farm. Okay, so we need to go this way. We gotta secure the Naris Cavern. Okay. Sure, we'll go ahead and shut it down. After we kill these guys. Oh. Hey, stop that. Alright, these guys must be all trainees too. Because they got the same sword. Find our way in. Alright, there it is. So this is going to take us into an instance that's all our own. Won't be any other players. Alright. Yeah, screw it. Just run at him. Stacks going. Now let's burn the stack. Mm. He didn't like that. Yep, and die. Can't jump yet. Chop him up. He leveled up again. I think they fixed some of these level ups. I don't remember leveling up this rapidly before. Like I said, you want to try to kill as many as you can uh, and collect as much loot as you can, especially if this is your very first time playing. Because you want a lot of money. Stop struggling, Padawan. Your life was over the moment you set foot here. Because the order must evolve, and you are weak. What's this all about? Who could the choose can know we go choose, sir? You mata chipotata. Hmm. You are dangerous. You killed my soldiers. Not attacking. Cleansing. And we have only begun. Really? Can I join you? Huh. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Where do I sign up? You cannot save yourself with tricks. The old order is dead. Long live the new order. I wasn't trying to save myself. I literally wanted to join. Now he's dead now. Anyhow, back to it. You do all right. What happened here? Mugusanobi Chonki. Forgot the Chipoto Endiha. Thank the force that you're both safe. This man's no Jedi. At least not one of us. If he wasn't like us, what was he? I'd call him Sith. But the Empire doesn't That's know what I am. Is. This lightsaber. There's something familiar about it. Strange. You uh -huh. held off all these attackers by yourself with only a practice saber. Yeah. Impressive. Oh, very. So give me a real lightsaber. I deserve a decent weapon. And my enemy doesn't need his anymore. This weapon can help us discover who the man was. It's going to the Jedi Council. Of course. This battle's over, but we don't want any more flesh raiders coming through here.
That is really shaky. Super blurry. That should hold them back for now. Okay. You should have left that open. We could have used it to destroy the Flesh Raiders. Declaring war is the last thing we should do. There's too much we don't know about our enemy. Not yet. I'll get you to a med center. You seem all right to travel alone. Report to the <laughs> Jedi Council. Of course, they're going to travel in a group. <laughs> Not me. I only just arrived on Tython. Where am I going? Follow the path leading out of this valley. You'll find the Jedi Temple through the mountain pass. See you there. Alrighty. Man, just getting them levels. Is there anything up here that I'm not getting? No, well, I think we got everything out of here. Except for that. We forgot that money. Is it two or just one? It's two. Got it now. Yeah, as you can see, it's it's kind of slow progress. You just kind of run around everywhere for the time being. The planet's not too big, but it's big enough to drive you nuts. So now we gotta make our way to the temple, and we just gotta follow the marker on the mini map. Sometimes just trying to follow the marker is not the best idea because you're kind of going to go the wrong way. So, you at least want to zoom out that mini map a little bit. That way, you kind of got an idea of where you're going. Otherwise, you might turn down a dead end. There are those here. I don't know about this map, but there are definitely dead ends in this game. Some of these dead ends kind of take you to PvP territory. Even though it's a PvE server, there is PvP areas. I literally just snuck up on these guys. I don't think I can free this person yet. Otherwise, I'd just be a dick and start letting people out. Keep going this way. Pretty sure, anyways. I don't have a ship. I pushed M for map. I'm gonna try to get up here somehow. There we go. So yeah, there's a lot of chance encounters, which these are not quite chance, um, they're just in your way, and in some cases you cannot get past them without having to fight. Um, so you'd be stuck fighting them. But, yeah. Uh, you'll be running around, trying to get from point A to point B, or try to get to an objective area. Or just trying to get back to a certain place to meet up with somebody and you get waylaid. Because you're not trying to fight anybody. You're just trying to get somewhere and there's millions of enemies just parked in front of you down a narrow passageway like this where you can't really go around them. You just got to cut your way through them. That can kind of get annoying too. But that's not everywhere. It's some places. So here we are at the Jedi Academy, or at least the temple. Hey, wanna glow? I'll glow with you.
I don't know who you are. I think you're an NPC. Whatever. Hello. We're in the same clothes I am. Alright. Hello call. Can't do that while moving. Okay, well let's get inside first. And then we'll stand right in the middle of the doorway. Padawan, I'm Satil Shan, leader of the Jedi Council. I'd like to speak privately with you before we meet with the others. Am I in trouble? Have I done something wrong? No, and don't worry, this will be an informal meeting. Come to my meditation room in the temple. We'll talk there. Oh, ho, ho. she wants me in the meditation room with her, huh? Like I said, uh, you definitely want to zoom out. So, on this floor, so we're not going up. We're going to go down this hallway here. Easy to get lost if you have no idea where you're going. Use the map. Welcome, Padawan. The temple is already buzzing with accounts of your heroism in the training grounds. Master Orgus told me you battled flesh raiders, and a force user armed with a lightsaber. That must have been a disturbing confrontation. Are you alright? Eh. Yeah. I won the fight. What else matters? Even the most experienced Jedi can be unbalanced by violence. Taking a life affects the living force, and the one who does the killing. This is why Jedi enter battles calmly, with reason. But I'm sir. Emotions like fear and anger lead to the dark side. The man I fought wasn't angry or fearful. Not on the surface, perhaps. As the Jedi Code teaches us, there is no emotion. There is peace. Peace is a lie. Remember those words when times are darkest. Except cake. And take this. The Code is a source of strength, but some backup never hurts. I'll see you soon in the council chambers. The council chambers. Alright. Well, um, being that we've gone up a few levels, we should be able to unlock some abilities. Um, as noted by the people with chevrons here. He's a Jedi Knight trainer, which I believe he is upstairs. So we gotta go upstairs. Otherwise, he's outside. I'm pretty sure he's upstairs. But we should have some abilities unlocked, I think. This guy, right? Jedi Knight Trainer, yep. There you are. Using a lightsaber is just as much science as art. We can okay. spar any time. Oh, they're automatically given. Yeah. So you don't have to buy them anymore. Cool. You used to have to buy those abilities. You used to have to. Here we go. I searched the temple archives. This force user leading the flesh raiders never received Jedi training. Then the Sith have found us. Shouldn't we get ready for them? Calm yourself, Padawan. We can't be certain of anything yet. But we've all sensed a growing darkness. Perhaps it's finally revealed itself. Someone want to bring me up to speed? We're just having a nice end of the world chat. Everyone, this is the Padawan who saved our people in the training grounds. Yes. This is Master Kiwix and her extremely vocal Padawan, Kira. The other masters are transmitting from distant worlds. It's unfortunate our numbers are scattered. Indeed. The temple's safety is unexpectedly threatened. Guess I'm the not going to introduce myself. disorganized primitives before today. Not anymore. They carry blasters and work like an army. We need to find out why. The man leading the Flesh Raiders probably wasn't acting alone. 
Much of Tython remains unexplored, and we have few resources to spare. I'll handle it, with the help of my new Padawan. Orgus, you haven't taken a Padawan since Coruscant. The Force is strong in him. Stronger than I've seen in decades. I can think of no finer master to complete this Padawan's training. Really? How about you? If I'm so special, shouldn't the leader of the Jedi train me? My duties to the Order come first. And don't underestimate Master Orgus. You'll find supplies in my chambers downstairs. Go equip yourself. I'll meet you there. Of course, I'm trying to respond how I believe a Sith would actually respond. So, if you find my responses and whatnot kind of crazy, uh, I'm just trying to do it as per what my character is. He shouldn't be here, but he's here. We have hidden in these floors long enough. It is time we return to Coruscant. Okay, apparently I need to go somewhere else in here. I do. Stick left. Blast those council meetings. I'd die of old age before my colleagues ran out of things to say. Have you always felt this way about your fellow masters? Don't misunderstand. They're good people. I just prefer to get things done. This situation has come to you fast. You're braving dangers many Jedi never face. I wouldn't blame you for having questions. This may be the only time to ask them. Why did you choose me? I get the impression you haven't had a Padawan for years. Why did you ask to train me? As Jedi, you learn to trust your instincts. When I met you in that cave, my instincts told me that I was meant to train you. I don't know why or for what purpose. Programming. The living force brought us together for a reason. No, oh, it did. The living force. If you say so. I don't much care for mystical philosophy, but whatever floats your speeder. Anyway, to find our hidden enemy, we'll need allies. There's a group of Twi'lek pilgrims on Tython. They've been fighting the Flesh Raiders for months. The Republic asked us to deny those Twi'leks aid. They settled here illegally, but frankly, we need them. The Republic shouldn't be telling the Jedi what to do. Forgot how impressionable Padawans can be. Remember, Jedi exist to serve the Republic, even when we disagree. The Twi'leks have a settlement in the mountains. That's your next stop. Establish a base camp and speak to the Matriarch. Find out everything the Twi'leks know about Flesh Raiders. And if they don't cooperate? If the Twi'leks won't share what they know, how far can I push them? Don't push. Bend. Show those people we're here to help. I'll join you soon. May the Force be with you. <laughs> That's the wrong thing to tell a Sith. Don't push. Bend. But what happens if they break? Try not to break them. Try. There is no try. <laughs> I'm getting crazy. Anyhow. Let's get to it. Back to it. Gotta go talk to the matriarch. What is this? Force sweep. Strikes back enemies, and this is. Uh... I can only use that once my attack's been blocked. Okay, so. We just need to follow this road. Discovered a new area. It's been so long since I've been here, dude.
Alright, so we definitely need to discover the speeder pad. If I remember right, we're back and forth here quite a few times. So... Reminder, mechanized travel is for official business only. Should be discovered now. I'm not sure if you still have to do that or not, but I did it just because... That's how I remember having to do it, to discover it. I have mail. You a vendor. Come over here, Jedi, and spare a moment for a humble serve. My name is Vidariot Aeon. I minister to the bodies and spirits of the villagers, and I have a request. Sorry, I skipped it. I speak of the flesh raiders. Of late, we've seen them growing stronger, and I know why. I'm listening. You have my complete attention. The flesh raiders have been experimenting, concocting an elixir that makes them ravenous. The ones who drink it go mad. Their lips froth, and they pounce like starving animals. It's black medicine, primitive and evil. This is Are foolish. Are pilgrims this superstitious? Explain the process however you like. I'm no scientist, but the result remains the same. We lack the numbers to attack the flesh raiders directly, and not even the Jedi could wipe the monsters from this world. But with our warriors' help, the Jedi could reach the flesh raider caves and destroy their vats of elixir. Do I get paid? Jedi don't do work like this for free. Help, and I'll offer what I can in return for your time. I won't beg, but understand, this is for your people too. Mm. When you Very put well. it that way, how can I refuse? Then I am grateful. Odemus Mare knows where the vats are hidden. He is our guard captain. Talk to him to learn the raiders' secrets. I really didn't want to pick up a side quest just yet, but it's whatever. Greetings, Matriarch. Master Orgas Din has sent me to help you fight the Flesh Raiders. So the Jedi finally deigned to recognize my people's suffering. How noble. Nothing to do with the attack on your training grounds, I'm sure. I won't lie, it does. We didn't realize how great a threat the Flesh Raiders had become. And now you seek help from the people you once ignored. My scouts have tracked the Flesh Raiders for months. Watch them grow in strength. I will share what we've discovered. But only if you agree to protect my people, we... We suffer. Mother, you need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. Anything would be better. Let's hope you're more agreeable. You'll find our people stand as one. This is my daughter. Rana Dalven. She and Scout Chief Morint here will speak for me. I must attend to... other matters. Chingo <laughs> smokes pot. Personally, I don't care why you've come. As long as you destroy the Flesh Raiders. Ever since they got their new weapons and gear, they hunt us like animals. The enemy has a camp in the valley nearby. My scouts say the Flesh Raiders store their weapons and other tech in a cave. I'll take care of it. Removing that technology will neutralize the Flesh Raiders. We need to strike fear into the Flesh Raiders, sabotage their weapons, fix it so they blow up in their ugly faces. How would we do that? Their technology is standard Republic design. We could overload the power circuits and plasma coils. Here, I'll show you. Sabotage would thin the Flesh Raider numbers and eliminate their technological advantage. If you brought that technology here, we could defend ourselves with those weapons. Hmm. You both make strong cases. Either one of those plans could work. My people aren't afraid to fight for their homes. We just lack the means. This debate is pointless unless you can get inside that cave. You'll need one of the leader's access keys. Find the Flesh Raider technology and do what you think is best. Good luck, Master Jedi. Hmm. Master, she calls me. No master yet. Ain't no gas in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push on next area oh wait there is something down here I think that was part of that side quest Jedi I think I know what you've been doing Videria sent you to speak with me she told you about the flesh raider elixir didn't she how it makes the flesh raiders strong the Dariot's been looking for a way to destroy the elixir, but she's making a terrible mistake. 
We shouldn't destroy the elixir. We need it. And I'll pay you well if you bring it to me. Why? What exactly are your intentions? The elixir can make our guardsmen strong. Yes, it may change them, but it will work. We can defend our village and destroy our foes. Imagine, if the elixir can make a flesh raider powerful, what would it do for a pilgrim warrior? Bring it to me, and you will be rewarded, praised. I'm trying to be a good guy. I won't help you feed the elixir to the pilgrims. Fine. Obey the orders of an old woman and destroy the elixir. But pilgrim blood is on your hands. The elixir is in the caves beyond our village. I doubt Jedi can even come close to the vats. <laughs> you doubt that Jedi can get close to the vats. You doubt that I can get close to the vats, but you're willing to pay me to get you some of the shit from the vats. Dude, the story, come on. <laughs> yep. It's okay. Oh, man. Push some buttons. I don't remember what that does anymore. Force sweep. Come on, jump. Jump. Collect some loots. Ten bucks. Got me a pack of smokes and some chips. Like a grab bag, not one of the big bags. Another ten bucks and a knife. So the vats are around here. There we go. So we destroyed one elixir. We need four more. How big is this area? Pretty big. Okay, is there any down here? I feel like I might have already ran past some. Is there any up here? There is some right there. That's two. Ow. He's just throwing shit. Oh no, I pushed the wrong button. Run away! Run! Ow! Run! Put your sword away, dummy! No! Okay, so he's too tough. He is level 9. Too tough. Back and we're gonna meditate. We're gonna introspect ourselves. Alright, enough of that. 
on the move. We gotta find some elixir. Look, elixir! Yay! Hey, purple stuff. Nothing really worth anything. go down there. I had to defeat three more flesh raiders. Oh, look at all that loot we left. Gotta grab the loots, man. We need the loots. You see, I've been collecting for a hot minute, right? 281 bucks. That's all we got. So you saw how long I was collecting for. Just around me here. I'm going to take this guy too. Raiders. Sweet. Now let's get into this cave. these guys while we're at it. Just checking. Make sure there's no loot. Uh, recover a key from... Flesh Raider War Master, so we don't have to worry about that. Goodbye. Get spun around really quickly. Alright, so I guess I gotta go this way. Yep. I don't remember this mission, to be honest. I really don't. It's been that long. I also remember it being a lot harder than it is right now. This is easy. Why I keep pushing? I... Hey guys, it's definitely been a while. I don't even know what buttons I'm pushing anymore. Hey, you know what's really fun? When you can reach them from up here and just jump down on top of them. Oh, that didn't work. Come on, I need elevation. 
can we not go up there? Okay. So we're gonna do a run and jump thing. <laughs> Worked out great. Yeah, screw that guy. I'm gonna fight this guy. Build up stacks. So I'm pretty sure beyond this dude is probably gonna be some tough guys. Sabotage it to kill enemies, leave it alone, take it for the villagers. Once they have all this, the Twi'leks can defend themselves. Consider yourself Don't worry, rescued. little guy. I'll get you out of here. Well, I'm glad you're in one piece. Why did they capture you? You useless bucket of bolts. Right. The old restraining bolt excuse. Admit it. You're just incompetent. Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. It looks like he's got balls for a chin. Mm, don't make me regret this. I expect you to obey my orders. Understand? <laughs> Although, you can rely on T7. He's pretty handy. He's in the healing role, which is perfect, which means I can stay doing damage. But actually, we don't need him to do heals. We're going to set him to doing damage. Because you don't really need heals right now. As you saw, I was doing pretty well, except for that one level 9 guy that I was fighting as a level 4 or 5. We can go kill him now. Now that we have a companion. Oh, I didn't realize that homeboy jumped into that one. on T7. Let's go kill the trash master. Where was he at? He was down here, wasn't he? is I need to stack up. Stack up just so I can slaughter the fuck out of them. So we'll stack up on these guys. There we go. Let's go get them. up off of them and 115 bucks and we got gear so inventory character sheet ah, so sloppy 
So mastery, uh, endurance over mastery. It's about the same stats aside from I'm going up in armor. Probably gonna change how I look. Um, yeah, it's going up in armor. Just really just changing the way I look. What's this? Battler Particle Blade. Yeah, we can use that too. And... Oh, but it's minus one armor. But it's plus four mastery and endurance. Yeah, we can definitely use the mastery and endurance. We don't really need the armor so much. Is there a belt? We didn't pick up a belt, did we? No gloves. Supply pack. And ration pack. Some of these packs can be open, which is pretty cool. But obviously not this one. This one's just a, something you just take to a vendor. Okay, let's go grab our loots. Get the hell out of here. lot easier now, ain't it? Good old T7. These guys are dying super fast now. Whee! Don't die. Took some damage. See, so there's there's a new guy right there. He's new. Actually, not because I saw him. He had the Force Valor perk, so. Shadow, so and Force Valor perk is for shadows. Okay. You look well, Jedi. Thank I'm you. I'm glad the Flesh Raiders didn't hurt you. Really? Did you destroy the Dark Elixir? I did. I destroyed all of it. Not really. I just destroyed what I could destroy, and the rest of it's still out there respawning. It was pointless. That was a useless endeavor. You've rid the world of an evil thing. The Flesh Raiders may brew their dark elixir again, but we won't make it easy. I am grateful for what you've done. Take this gift with my blessing. For now, I leave you in peace. Hey, and pants. You leave me in peace and with pants. That is awesome. I really appreciate that. Because I do need better pants. Look at that. And there's gloves. Look at that. We got gloves now. We're starting to look a bit retarded, but we're gearing out. We're a lot better. She died in my arms. You should have seen what those filth did to her. I'm sorry, Selu. We all share your loss. For every one of us the Flesh Raiders butcher, we should kill ten. No, no, a hundred! Will that restore your loved one to life? Don't lecture me, Jedi. My wife is dead. Our people slaughtered. Where were you then? Getting you weapons, dude. I took all the Flesh Raiders' weapons, so you can defend yourselves. Finally. One of you who understands. Give me those weapons. We'll hunt down the Flesh Raiders. We'll have retribution. Take them. The weapons are yours. I hope you find your enemies. I will. And they're going to pay. Emotions That's my and weapons. Never a good mix. Poor Selu. 
I understand his grief more than he knows. People wonder why Jedi are forbidden to marry or have families. They don't see how attachments always lead to suffering. Passionate emotions can destroy a person, and Jedi destroyed by passion become something terrible. Uh-uh. Compare her. More power. Yeah, he's all yours. This thing's been a pain in my neck since the Flesh Raider camp. One of our long-range probes. I thought we'd lost all of them. While I deal with a droid, talk to Rana. I think her people are ready to help us, thanks to you. Alright. Oh, wait. Get off my legs, homie. Jeez Louise. With the weapons and technology you brought from the Flesh Raiders, my people can defend themselves. You risked your life to help us. My people haven't had a champion for some time. <laughs> you can call on me anytime. I'll be your champion whenever you need one. Oh, I, um... I should give you the information you requested. Morant, report. Scouts report that the Flesh Raider forces are gathering in strength. They already control the mountains around us, and now they're invading the ruins of Kaleth. My men spotted them at the remains of an ancient shrine, close to your Jedi Temple. Kaleth was a great city of Force users. Its ruins hold powers we still don't understand. The Flesh Raiders are looking for something there. We can't let them find it. Drive back those Flesh Raiders immediately. I have to take this droid back to the Council. That hooded figure in the holo. I know his voice. The situation is worse than I thought. Really? Do whatever it takes to push the Flesh Raiders out of Kaleth. I'll send you reinforcements as soon as possible. I'll be ready for anything. I won't need them. In case you haven't noticed, I handle things just fine by myself. Don't get cocky. You're good, but you're still a Padawan. If you see that hooded figure from the holo, do not engage him. I get going. Hey, you got a new shirt. Sweet. Character sheet. Let's put on a new shirt. We'll see how we look. We still look retarded. Do we even have a belt yet? No belt. Okay. But we're getting there. We're at level 7. So... Shrine, which I'm pretty sure you can sneak in there through there. So let's let's go ahead and head back to the Jedi Temple. Where's the speeder? Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. It's about as fun as it is to run around. Not really. Uh, take speeder when you can. It will, uh, it will save you some mind ache. Because literally your brain's just getting numb from seeing the same things that you've been running by every day. All the time. Report your ailments. Yeah, let's repair all cell junk. And then we'll go ahead and we'll sell that, that, that. That, that, that. We'll get rid of that. We'll keep that in these. And we just made money. We got 1100 bucks. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Alright, so, let's see. Um, I have a mailbox, right? I'm wondering if I got a speeder out of the deal. In which I'm not sure if I can ride one yet. Because I don't think I have the ability to. But... Okay, H55. Oh, reward. New reward. Hey, Tauntaun. I can't use them, though. I don't have the speeder piloting skill. But we'll take them. Because uh, we need a mount. Um, okay. getting subscriber messages from 
your July subscriber subscriber reward from July an hour ago. Then again, I just created this guy an hour ago, so whatever. There's a duster. Ooh, and you can put stuff on it. So we'll go ahead and hold on to that. We're not going to pick that up just yet. This is some cool stuff. Uh, grant access to recruiting Shea Vizsla. Grant your character access to the Alliance Alert recruiting Shea Vizsla. When unlocked, this alert will be played after Chapter 9. The, okay. I thought it was going to give me Shea Vizsla now. I was like, uh, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Who wouldn't want a power tech with them? Is that right? Hold on. Um, legacy. So, to ride speeders, we gotta unlock this. So you can usually pay money, or you can pay in cartel coins, in which I have plenty of cartel coins. Not a whole lot, but 4,000. More than enough to buy my way into a speeder. But I think I'm going to try to pay for it rather than using cartel coins. We're trying to make this gameplay, this series, cheap as fuck. Because Disgruntled is all about being kind of like, what the fuck? And also just keeping it cheap. That's what the scrunnel's being about. I'm just a cheap turd. So, there's somebody to talk to here. Alright. And it's a Padawan and a girl. Hey, Fia. It's Master Orgus's new apprentice. Wow. Everyone says you're great with a fibro blade. I'm Fia. Padawan Fia. Still have to get used to having a title. I've just started learning about the Force. I've got a long way to go before I'm as good as you. I like your headset. They look like poopies on the side of your head. Concentrate on your training and you'll do fine. Hard to concentrate when you're always pinching yourself to check if this is a dream. I still can't believe I'm here. Just last week I was screwing a garbage scow on Rax's Prime. Then this scary looking Jedi shows up out of nowhere and says that he can sense the force in me. What really? are the odds? Pretty good actually. There's no such thing as luck, Padawan. You're meant to be here. That's exactly what the Jedi who found me said. Say, do you know Master Tillin? He's the one who discovered me. I'm trying to get a message to him. Master Tillin is studying a big mystery in Kaleth's ruins. Something about ancient droids attacking people? If you're headed to the ruins, would you give him this holo recording from me? I'd be so grateful. Consider it handled. I have many obligations. Sorry, but no. Yeah, consider it handled. Just give it to me. It's a porn, isn't it? Allow me to do this. Yeah. Terrific. I can see why everybody here is so impressed with you. Jedi porn Here's the hollow recording. Master Tillin has a small camp right. outside the ruins of Kaleth. Thanks for doing this. You're not a problem, Fia. Not a problem. See you around, girl. Yikes. Just keep running. I can smell it from here. It stinks. Yeah. Yuxy beast cow. Yuxy. We gotta go in a place and see something else. Yeah, I think I came to a realization. Where's T7? T7. Where are you? Oh, I don't have T7 anymore. Oh, well, well. I was trying to get rid of him anyways. Ah, that's right. There's that little camp here. Oh, I forgot. Go ahead and stop by this camp. I don't know why they made it a Republic camp. It's only people from the Republic on this planet, right? Pretty sure. 
Mechanized travel is for Discovered. efficient business only. Like I said, I'm not sure if you guys see that anymore. Uh, know someone named Fia? How do one Fia send her regards and this hollow recording? I don't understand why they always seem to shoot before thinking. Isn't that obvious? Maybe because you're a hideous monster? Mind yourself, young one. Well, your honesty is admirable. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard Oompa Loompa in there. Yeah, I think he's calling me names. That's amazing. I'm extremely impressed. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. No, you are the I'll leave you to it then. Whatever you say. You just said the same thing twice. Ne umpi bedwana ni bobo chopa uma. Ne umpi bedwana ni bobo chopa uma. Dwana wanki. Did it again. Wata yatuka loka. Kili wata bunki donko patoga loda. Jesus. Uh, yeah, um. I'll get those samplings for you in no time, Master Talin. Yeliska chanaga bumpa komchinka. All right, man. Wonka tuske uwa. Just let me go. That's great. Do you, you have anything else you want to say? Is there like a, a Jedi life lesson or something that you want to tell me about? Uh, some history? About why these droids are here? Who made them? How many bolts it takes to assemble one? So, I've got a little cough, and I'm really hoping my mute button's working, otherwise you're going to hear a lot of coughing. Um, so I'm trying to mute it out so you guys don't have to listen to it. All right, so here I got to find six Tython Seekers. Fancy that. Found three. Oh, I got to get 15 of them bastards. Oh, I got to disable. I'm an idiot. Okay. Move closer. Devices. I got to disable droid. Uh, so I got to disable him first. Scan all of them to cheat. It is, isn't it? I 
Oh. That's terrible. Yeah, he's not a seeker, he's a watcher. Gotta kill two more of them bastards. Here we go. There's two more air. Stab you in the gut. I gotta defeat ten initiates. where I get my lightsaber, isn't it? Hey, my kids are home. Alright, so it's about to get really noisy. Did you just call me Jedi? Master Orgas sent us. We came as quickly as we could. One of the Flesh Raiders I just fought called me Jedi. He could use the Force. That's troubling. If the Flesh Raiders are learning the ways of the Force, it won't be on the side of light. You sure made short work of this bunch. You ever leave survivors? Fighting the same enemy twice gets boring. I'm pretty sure that's not in the Jedi Code. This Flash Raider carried a holocron, a repository of knowledge created by a Force user. Fancy. Thousands of years old from the looks of it. Master Orgus was right. These natives are more advanced than we realized. They're learning how to fight us. They don't stand a chance. If this is the best they can do, they're no threat. This was only a scouting party. I wish we could stay, see this through, but Master Satil has ordered us to Coruscant on a special mission. All those bad feelings the Council's been having? She thinks the Republic capital is the source. I'm sorry to have to leave you, but the danger is past. These surveillance monitors will keep watch on Kaleth, 
place them around the ruins. The temple can then monitor any future incursions by our enemies. What are we prepared to do if the Flesh Raiders return? The temple's guards will respond to any invasion, and these surveillance devices will give us ample warning. May the Force be with you, Padawan. Device sector one, two, and three. I'm here, Master. What is it? I'm on my way back to the Twi'lek settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. I'm already on my way. Find me at the Matriarch's compound. Work us out. Kadumaji, Tahus Hagwaupa. O grani tampio do me donkey. What a botenya nucha nu bota. Kitita nimni tanuv. Capola cupi de opra. Anquas nimna matasunri. Wonka tuske uana wa. Zuza neko higa da noila. Tocha nanga e ma chai. That's quite a revelation. That certainly seems interesting. Grula waska kwa bobana. Chichawa una chichitua. Vifa karibu utachuba na ganga. Krispa do e kanki kunke gupa. Do bataji mwa atima. Well, have fun with that. You'll have to deal with this yourself now. Chobod yi kafu anchawa. 
Punyo, Blasto won't get here at all, Conchi. Casu Yali Koira, to eka pak yo topa. Okay. Let's see. Better shoes. Reminder, mechanized travel is for official business only. Greetings, you are cleared for the following travel routes. Master Kiewicz told me what you found in Kaleth. A flesh raider who used the Force. He thought he was learning things from an old holocron. I wish that were true. The man who attacked you when you first arrived? His lightsaber had a familiar aspect. This droid's holo recording confirmed my suspicions. <laughs> the hooded figure in that recording is named Bengo Moore. He was my Padawan. But he never completed his training. Bengal was in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant when the Sith destroyed it. Okay. He waited a long time to reveal himself. Still don't understand why he just disappeared. Doesn't make sense. Bengal was strong in the Force, and the most gentle being I've ever known. For him to turn against the Jedi, he has to be stopped. Apologies for keeping you waiting. Our people's matriarch... My mother is dying. You should be at her side. You're kind, but my mother wants me here. My scouts have identified a flesh raider command base in the mountains. It's protected by an energy shield. The shield's power generator is hidden on a different mountain, in a well-guarded cave network. That command base is probably coordinating all the attacks in the region. I need to get inside there. You up for knocking out the power generator? Always. When have I ever let you down? First time for everything. Not that I'm worried. Hmm. See if you can give the droid an opening to gather more intelligence. That energy shield is your top priority. Knock it out fast as you can. All right. More stuff. What do we get from that? I don't know.
be the Padawan who slaughters my people. Your misguided attacks change nothing. Your time is over. Hello, ugly. So that's your face. I can see why you wear a hood, Bengal. Orgus's taste in Padawans has grown weak, just as he has. You executed my apprentice, Caliph. I can feel his death on you. I spent years training him. He was a good man, a principled man. Proud of yourself? Without a doubt. You are truly corrupt, but justice is coming. Every so-called Jedi on Tython is going to die. That's a promise. Your entire order is weak. You've done nothing to stop the Sith Empire's advances. I guess I missed the news about you winning the war. I can't defeat the Sith until the Jedi are strong again. You people diminish the Force by your very existence. Enjoy this little victory. It's your last. Meh. I gotta run all the way back. Let's <laughs> go. 
So, as you can see, these missions clearly take a while because there's a lot of running. There's a lot of going back and forth. So, in the area I was just in, I'll be running back to do another mission or whatever. They just keep having you go back to the same area, but you can only do it one at a time. You can't just do it in consecutive order. Then gameplay happens too fast that way. So, being that if you're new and you're stuck running around on foot, guess what? You ain't going nowhere real fast. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. I shut down the energy shield. Any word on Master Orgus's mission? No. My mother, she found peace during your absence. I am now Matriarch. You don't have to go through this alone. People who say Jedi have no feelings are wrong. Before he left, Master Orgus told me there is no death, there is the Force. He believes our essence lives on when we die and merges with the Force. I hope that's true. Matriarch! Flesh Raiders broke through our defenses. They did something to our crop fields. They dropped strange machines in the soil. When a scout approached one, he collapsed with sickness. He crawled away from the device and began to recover, but there are many more machines still out there. Your settlement here is finished. You can't stay on Tython. We have nowhere else to go. My people will kill themselves dismantling those machines. Please help us. Jedi are strong. You can resist the machines and destroy them. I'll take out as many of them as I can. Hurry to the fields. I fear we don't have much time. Helpful, thank you. I've destroyed the machines poisoning your crops. I saw how you suffered out there. What you did was more than brave, it was heroic. Please. Take a token of my people's honor. I'm sorry it can't be more. I'm sure I'll find a use for it somehow. I'm not wealthy, but my people give all they can. <laughs> I should go inform everyone that the danger is over. All right. You look, a belt. Finally put the Flesh Raider base out of commission. How are things on your end? Please, tell me I'm getting out of this blasted Twi'lek settlement. Be careful what you wish for. At the Flesh Raider command base, I found coordinates to a number of secret camps. Too many to send only Jedi Masters. One camp is in the ruins of Upper Kaleth. That patrol you fought earlier was based there. Now's your chance to finish them off. What if I run into your old Padawan? If you see Bengal, retreat and contact me immediately. Be careful in those ruins. We haven't explored them all. Contact me when your mission's complete. May the Force be with you. Alright. Another coat. And it's better. I can burn that yet. Not yet. 
because we're almost done and we're almost level 10 where we need to be. So we don't have to do anything extra. It's nice. Mechanized travel is for official business only. side of this. I gotta go behind this wall somehow. <sighs> I gotta find stairs. The enemy was obviously too much for you. Then I'll meet their hatred with my own and kill every last one. Vago Elisegis, Leahasak. Play the confused Jedi. Is as Allah Sony Parton as Allah Tokisal.
Okay. Flesh Raider camp's out of commission, Master, but they were all Force users. They killed a Jedi named Lauta. His body is in these ruins. What should I do? We'll reclaim our fallen later. Just got a distress call from the Twi'lek settlement. They spotted Ben Moor. Our forces are spread out dealing with the secret camps. We're the only ones who can handle this. I'm on my way to the settlement. Meet me there. Yeah, here we go. Close to the end, at least for the main arc here. So I'm gonna try to make this direct, get to level 10, try to get past these guys. Saw that, 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 that. Didn't sell anything we shouldn't have, right? Okay. Be kind of hiccup. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Master Orgus responded to your distress call. I was to meet him here. What's happened? Nothing. We didn't send any distress call. Things have been quiet since you left. I haven't seen or spoken to Master Orgus. <laughs> Someone sent Master Orgus a distress call from here. Who was it? I wish you hadn't come. Would have made things easier. <laughs> I didn't want to hurt you or your master, but we have no choice. I don't believe this. We protected you people. Only when it was convenient. For months we begged the Council to send help. And no matter how many you kill, the Flesh Raider numbers keep growing. You can't win. 
Bengalmore came to me, said he'd end the Flesh Raider attacks if we gave him your master. He wants us to kill you too. I'm... I'm sorry. You made a deal with a monster. You won't like the consequences. Don't resist. It'll only make things harder. Yeah. So they want to fight. I surrender. Please don't hurt me. I know it doesn't matter to you. But I did all this to save my people. Your ignorance astounds me. My people were dying. What choice did I have? Bengalmore took Orgus to someplace called the Forge. Reactivate your droid. It might know where to find them. Isn't that information worth some mercy? I don't believe in forgiving scum like you. There's nothing I can do to stop you, is there? Get out of my sight. <laughs> Bengal Moore took my master someplace called the Forge. Do you know where that is? <sighs> Flesh Raiders stormed in and slaughtered everyone. I barely drove them off. I am A4PO, Jedi Archivist. How may I help you? Transmit everything you know about the Forge to my droid T7. That area is considered highly dangerous. May I inquire why you need this data? Oh, Just doing a little no sightseeing. Oh, do be careful. The temple has received several alerts regarding flesh raider activities in the area. Transmitting data now. Mechanized travel is for official business only. So, now we're head on our way back to where we just were, so we can go south to get towards the Weapon Forge. This is about close to the end. It's not the end, but close to it. We go to the temple for the end part of this world. Pushing.
got to kill the droids. <laughs> We won't be killing droids. Go investigate the forge.
sensed you coming. Your fear betrayed you. You're weak. Like my old master, you will fall with him. Spare me the speeches. I'm here to end you. So be it. Force guided me to this defeat. You are stronger than any Jedi I've known. You could redeem the Order and destroy the Sith. I understand. You are the weapon I came to forge. Yeah. Wrongful. I hope you appreciate the irony of me killing you. You don't have to strike me down. I am your servant now. I have spent a lifetime learning the paths to power. That knowledge is now yours. Let me leave Tython and prepare the galaxy for your ascendance. I will deliver the gifts you need to reclaim your destiny. I'll well, make my own destiny. And you need to die. <laughs> that takes care of that. Better one. I must have you to thank for being alive. I defeated Bengal Moore, Master. He's dead. Poor man. He was so lost. The horrors he witnessed on Coruscant broke him. Destroyed the gentle Padawan I trained. You, however, faced a challenge beyond any trial I could assign. There's nothing more I can teach you. All that's left is for you to enter the forge and construct your own lightsaber. Haven't I done enough work for one day? <laughs> Creating a lightsaber is more than work. You're building a connection to the Force. Normally we make Padawans gather materials themselves, but you've proven enough. These are all the physical components. 
The rest will come from your mastery of the Force. I'll carry Bengal's body to the Jedi Temple. Meet me there when you're ready. Building another lightsaber. This weapon will be a light in the darkness. Almost like a He-Man moment. It's not a shortcut. be able to unlock speeders now that I'm level 10. I just don't think I got the money.
cranking out levels. Shit. <laughs> hey, that's a cheap way to get back. Oh no. Oh, this isn't where I wanted to be. Report your ailments. Please read the chat. for the following travel routes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn these missions in and see where we go from here. There should be a lower object over here. Flesh Raiders are still a threat, 
But without Bengal's leadership, they'll be scattered and ill-equipped. This temple could have been devastated. The entire order is in your debt, Padawan. <laughs> Don't call me Padawan. I crafted my own lightsaber. I'm a Jedi Knight now. The rank of Knight is only conferred by the Council, and we have a more pressing topic to discuss. Recent developments in the Twi'lek settlement demand a response. Their matriarch Rana betrayed me to Bengal. Reports indicate she still leads the settlement. You know the Twi'leks, Padawan. How do you recommend we proceed? The Twi'leks need guidance. We should take charge of their settlement. Jedi don't govern others. That kind of power is too easily abused. We don't need to govern the Twi'leks. Just keep a close eye on them. Be ready to intervene. This young Jedi saved us all from a terrible threat by defeating an experienced Force user. I see no reason why he should remain a Padawan. Your bravery, heroism, and sacrifice show great depth of character. You represent our best hopes for the future. You arrived on Tython a Padawan. But you leave a Knight of the Republic. May the Force be with you. Well, it's about time. About time. No more Padawan do this and Padawan go there. That's right. Now the real work begins. I don't need some machine underfoot. After a few small upgrades, I think T7 will serve you well. Request granted. We're getting a priority signal from Coruscant. It's Master Kiwix. Master Orgus, everyone. I've discovered a situation requiring further assistance. Our suspicions about Coruscant were correct. The dark presence we have long sensed is strongest here. I've already defeated one dark presence today. Might as well go for two. This darkness blinded us to threats much closer to home. I advise great caution. Something malignant works in the shadows of the capital. We must find it. This situation calls for our very best. Master Orgus, you and your former pupil should join Master Quix on Coruscant. Come to the Senate Tower as soon as you can. Master Quix, out. No rest for us, my friend. Complete any unfinished business you have and take a shuttle to Coruscant. All I get is a pat on the back and a new mission. I just saved this temple. We'll build a Bronzium statue of you. Promise. That sounds great. I need to wrap up some things before I go. Meet you on Coruscant. Farewell. The Force will be with you. Always. That's it for Tython. I mean, not completely. I mean, it just did main storyline. There's a lot of side quests on this planet. But, um, yeah, we're not doing that. So we're going to head to the Republic Fleet. We're going to take a break. And then we'll see if we can't be back for another disgruntled video on Star Wars The Old Republic. Thanks for joining.